This is a video lesson for Under the Bridge on guitar, which is a good uh, advanced higher or a higher piece. Um, it's four and a half minutes long, 440 I think. Um, and the intro to this one is a little bit strange. Um, usually I would play it um, with this nice big stretch. I'm going to teach it today using a cap. So for anybody out there who is not a super, super confident guitarist, this will make things a lot easier. Um, I'm going to only go over it with a capo. If you've got a capo at home, that's great. If you don't, they're about £2.50 on Amazon just now. Um, I would go and pick up a couple because you tend to lose them. So we're going to put this on second fret. And let's just make sure I can remember it um, with a capo on because it's been a long time since I've played it with a capo. But we'll see. So, uh, we're going to put a C chord on. Now, usually when you don't have a capo, you would need to do your C this sort of shape, like a C with your second, third, and fourth finger, and using your first finger to be the capo, essentially. But because we're, we've got a capo on, we're just going to do a normal C. Now, we're going to play the A and the B strings uh, at the same time. Now, we're going to use fingers for this starting part. So both those at the same time. Then we're going to play, I'm just going to say the actual note names rather than the capo names. So this is fourth fret. Then we're going to go to second fret, which is open string on the capo. So that's nice and easy to start with. So. That's your main little um, thing to start with in the first bar, so it's... And we're going to do this walk down sequence, which is 4th um, fret or 2nd fret on the capo. And then open, then 5th fret or 3rd fret of the capo. So that's this. Four, two, five, four. And then we're going to play E and B strings open. So, first bar. Now, do you notice um, as much as possible I'm trying to let my notes ring out so they don't end? So, have a listen again. my notes are still going, and they're still going, and they're still going, so that's what we should be aiming for. Then we're going to make an E chord, and we're going to play, again, uh, I've already said this, but, but the low E and the B string open. I'm going to do that nice and slowly and make sure you can see my hands. That's um, two and two together, then fourth fret here, fourth fret here, fourth fret here, and then third fret here, and back to fourth fret. Now we're going to do another walk down, but it's going to be different this time. Four, two, five, two. I'm going to link actually to the um, the tab website that I'm actually using for this, um, usually I'd be using sheet music, but um, all my I left all my sheet music in school over lockdown, so I don't have it. Um, and we're going into the next part. Uh, this is going to be a long lesson, so I would strap ourselves in. We're going to play a C, but we're actually going to use our third finger and go a fret behind it to start with. So this is our normal C. This is our bass note back a fret, and we're going to slide into the C like this. And again, we're going to play both notes at the same time. Now that's a little bit quicker than last time. Now we're going to do this little hard part, which is... Sorry, that's not correct. So that is first finger on the third fret, or the first fret with the capo. And we're going to hammer on to the 5 and then back to the 3. And then back down to a 2. 
which is open on the cap. And we're going to play our C chord again, but we're only going to play these two strings, this one and this one. And we're going to play them and slide them up. Then play them again, like this. So that whole bar would go like this. Back to our E. Walk down, same thing again, but no flick at the top. No flick that time. Walk down again, four, two, five, four. E chord. Walk down again. Same thing again, but with the flick this time. E chord to finish. Now our next part is what I would call the verse, so that was our intro done, and we only play that once. I'm going to play it the whole way through slowly now, and then I'm going to play you it at normal tempo, so slowly to start with. Play it at full tempo, and this is a little bit quicker. Now the way we, the usual piece is not played with a capo, but it doesn't matter if you play it with a capo because we've got a cool little hack to get around that if, if I'm honest. We're going to play our verse now, and because our verse doesn't descend below, we have no notes below the capo, we don't need to take the capo off. So we're going to go straight into our verse after that. This is going to be an E chord. Now this is 7999. Nine, nine, in the middle four strings of the guitar. And this is not counting the capo, so we're pretending the capo is no longer there at this point. So seven, nine, nine, nine. And then we're going to do a click like that. All I'm doing there is putting my hand back on the guitar like this. And you hear that little click. Now we're going to switch to this chord, and this is a thumb over style chord, but we're only going to be playing the middle four strings of the guitar again, and it's going to go 9, 9, 8, 7. And with another, then we're going to do another click. So. We're going to grab these two notes afterwards. We're not going to move them just yet. We're going to play them again, and then slide them up two frets. Then we're going to put first finger over both ninth frets, and again, this whole section is only using the middle four strings of our guitar. This whole verse. So first chord was E, then a click. Then this one is a B essentially. E then B, and then another click. Grabbing these two notes, playing them, sliding them up two. And grabbing first finger only and barring it over double nine on the G and B strings. So that's nine nine, eleven eleven, then nine nine. We're going to keep this shape and we're going to move it down to sixth and fourth fret. So this is double six and this is double four right here. And we're going to play that once. And that's a minor chord, by the way. Then we're going to move it up a fret and add on our middle finger 
to the G string on 6th fret to make it major. I'm going to go through that whole thing again. So E, then a click, then a B, then another click. Grab these two notes, slide them up, double 9, bring them down here, 6 and 4, then up a fret and make it major by adding the middle finger. Then we're going to do this whole thing again. But this time we're just going to go straight to the A. So we're not going to the G sharp minor, which is here. We're just going straight to the A the second time round. So we do this four times. The first time we go G sharp minor, then A. The second time is straight to A. Then it's a repeat. So the third time, goes G sharp minor to A, and the fourth time goes straight to A. I'll play the whole thing slowly, then fast. essentially four rounds now. This is our last chord. Excuse me, I've got a hiccup. Uh, this is our last chord and it's a very special one. It's an E major 7. Now I want you to play the middle four strings of your guitar and the chord is going to look like 7, 9, 8, 9. Now this is a very interesting chord because at this point we've got a big long rest. It goes E major 7, 2, 3, Five, six, seven, eight. Now while you're doing that, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have to take your capo off. That's an extra special part of this song. If you want to use the easier, if you want to use the capo to make the intro easier during this chord, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. verse 2 and it's way more intricate. Don't let that put you off, it's not that much harder. So after we've taken our capo off, you can either drop it on the floor at that point or just place it somewhere. Um, we're going to go into our verse one, uh, verse 2 which is the same as verse 1 but there's extra fiddly parts. So I'm playing that chord. Then I'm playing these three notes, not the bass. And then do a small click and then to our B. I'll play it one more time. I would practice like that. If that's difficult for you, practice it like this. Just as a loop, don't give up. You can pause the video at this point if you need to practice this. Um, now we're going to play um, particular strings. We're going to play the middle two strings, the G first, then the D. Now that is the hard fill but it's not that bad so we're going to play the G string then the D we're going to play the G string again and take our pinky off and do a hammer on pull off if you watch my pinky it's off off on off so we're going to go this is 8th fret this is ninth fret then we're going to take our pinky off 
hammer on